Hey guys, we're about two weeks into MLB The Show's Diamond Dynasty, and there's some market things I want you guys to pay attention to over the next little while, especially if you are brand new to the game because you have no idea what to expect. What I want to specifically focus on is the player programs that will be coming in MLB The Show, where essentially 99 cards that are extremely powerful will be available to you, but you've got to collect a serious amount of the collections, not just the live series cards. So while that might seem overwhelming and you don't think that you're going to be able to do that, there is a very easy way to make a lot of stubs from these collections and if you are early on it you can definitely pull out some huge money here guys if you enjoy the content make sure you subscribe to the channel and give the video a like it really helps me out with the youtube algorithm all right let's get into it all right guys so give you guys an update on my team and what i'm working with i really completed the live series collection i've got some of the most powerful cards like the you know the rookie of the year albert Pujols, and now i'm showing you guys what i'm gonna focus on in terms of stubs and regardless if you have a team like this or you've got an all gold team the stubs that you're gonna be able to invest in right now is really gonna help you out to help you finish that live series collection collection so if you've been playing for a year or two maybe you'll notice that this year's the margins in mlb cards are very very small so what i mean by that is there is not a lot of separation between the sell now price and buy now price if you include the tax meaning that you're only going to make a couple hundred stubs on each flip and you have to really focus on being able to find those cards that have the high margins and there just isn't a lot of them right now however there are some things that you want to take advantage of so what i want to bring up to you guys is in the collections okay if you go over to the legends and flashbacks i mentioned in my prior video that you will need to collect a lot of these cards to get the vouchers for the upcoming player programs that just haven't been announced yet the ones i want to focus on specifically are the prospects though there are a lot of them and they're very easy to obtain by playing out through the conquest you can actually acquire a lot of them especially the nations of baseball you can get a ton of these prospect cards and a lot of people are just selling them right now for a very low price to try and just complete the live series collection which is fine however you can really take advantage of this because at some point they are going to release whatever that new player program is and you are going to have to collect an x amount of prospects to actually get the voucher for it so last year, if we went back to MLB 21, it took 10 prospects to collect the 90 overall Jared Kelnick. Now this year, there's a lot more prospect cards and it takes 25. However, to get the Mariano Rivera voucher last year, which was the first player program, it took an extra 10. So you are going to need more than 25 prospects to get the voucher. Why is that important? So if you go and take a look at Nick Gonzalez, for example, you go and view in the marketplace, okay? Right now, he is going for even just a buy now of 1648. You can actually get him for a little bit less at 15, but anything under 700, I'm completely okay. I would recommend go ahead and buy that. Now, that might seem weird because why would you go and buy that for 1700 or lower? Well, here's the reason. If you go to your inventory and go over to, we'll go to the Pirates here, um, you're going to see why this is such a low risk and decent investment to go out and try, especially now before uh, before these programs get announced because then it becomes uh, pretty crazy. So you see I have nine here, all right? If you go and you go to quick sell, right? Say I quick sell one. You'll quick sell them for 1,500. That means at worst, you will lose 200 stubs per. But what is going to happen is that everyone is going to be trying to buy these cards okay because they are trying to complete the voucher to get whatever the new program is do me a favor why don't you name down that napkin for me I don't have a pen. Exactly. Supply and demand, my friend. More than likely, they're going to shoot up to at least 3,000, possibly 5,000, but there is so many different prospects that it might not happen. I do want to mention with this method, you want to make sure it's at least 84 overall prospects and above. The 83s will sell for quick sell for 1,200 stubs, so make sure it's the 84s and above. Nick Gonzalez is a perfect example. Any of the prospect cards that are going for anything under 1,700, I'm all on board with. And if you really want to min max it, you can get them for like 1,505 or 1,506 sometimes and you can see even if things don't break right for you, you there's no risk involved here losing 200 stubs at most per all right guys now in my prior video i talked about how to flip on the market but now i want to give you some cards that you can flip with some decent returns and you don't need you know 200 000 stubs to actually get the cards to do the flip all right so if you go to marketplace and then mlb go to search throw on a filter and i want you guys to choose the cover athletes um, these are the cards that came with uh, anyone that pre-ordered. You got one of them. And the margins right now, they are extremely crazy, but they are better than almost every live series card in this price range. And at night, separation in the sell now and buy now opens up quite a bit. So for example, you take Miguel Cabrera, and again, I show you guys how to do this in my other video. And you can go to sell now, create sell order, and put in whatever the price is. So on the left-hand side, you'll see what the lowest price is, the lowest sell order. If you choose this, like one less, you can actually see what it will 
will be after taxes. So we're looking at 23,399. That's over a thousand stubs for each one of these cover athletes. And that's on the low end. Like I said, right now during the day while I'm doing this, um, the margins are gonna be a little bit less, but at night they open up quite a bit. So right now the cover athletes are, in my opinion, some of the best ones to actually flip. And then on top of collecting the prospect cards for around 1500 stuff. Equipment is another great one. Uh, they usually have the highest margins in terms of the sell now and buy now. I need to warn you guys though, it is not like prior years. These margins close very quickly and you could be stuck with a lot of equipment and you not able to sell it for anything that you know is going to make you a profit so while i think there is still a ch there's still opportunity here like for example if we take a look at the jordan one retro metal you go and take a look that there's only two up right now and the and the cheapest price is thirty six thousand eight sixty six right that's thirty three thousand one seventy nine and right now there's a buy order you know of 28,500. That's a huge margin, but they close and open very quickly. So you've kind of got to be focusing on that while it's going. But gold equipment, or sorry, diamond equipment is still a very viable option. Lastly, some of the other cards that have had a pretty good margin so far are uh, the ones like Adam Dunn, for example. I've seen him drop about three or 4,000 stubs at night. Again, right now, you're not seeing a huge difference right now. But the cards that are in like the BR program um, or, or like the um the big dog packs for example um they do have quite a bit of a margin at night so again just to keep in mind the live series cards they're pretty tough and we'll talk about investing because you're gonna see again if you're new to mlb you're gonna see very shortly what happens when they do a roster update and the ratings change but we're gonna go over investing in that in a little bit later in another video but i just want to show you guys some quick tips and some investment things that you should look at right now if you've got some excess stubs now again you're not going to be able to sell the prospect cards, for example, um, until the player program comes out and they require collections, which could be a couple weeks. So you got to keep that in mind. But once you do, you are going to make a lot of subs. I can promise you that. So, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. And subscribe for more market tips. I'll see you next time.